For years upon years, we have been told about what cannot be done in marine engineering, about what does not work. Now, it's time we told others about what can be done, about what does work. A floating island. This is as close an analogy as it gets. A mega structure that has the mobility and maneuverability of a ship and the stability, accessibility and independence of an island. That was 1982 when I first disclosed uh, the idea to marine engineers that I am thinking to build a floating island at the high seas and oceans which form two thirds of the globe. Uh, everybody knows that cannot be done, it's impossible. There is no theory to design such kind of uh, floating structures in high seas. I went further in the research, I found it is true there are uh, no rules, no theory to design such things, so I had to work 15 years and change the rules, and that's it. So I changed the rules, and uh, you have now an advanced engineering of floating islands where you can build uh, resorts, uh, naval bases, uh, villas, whatever it is, and. Uh, Later after that, I started uh, the industry in Lebanon to build the first floating island in the history of mankind and we are in the final phase to launch it to the sea next year. A chunk of land afloat at sea, buildings and terminals with their landscape, sea level access and no technical assistance needed. No other sea structure can afford that. None other was ever made with that specifically in mind. From resorts, large or small, on deep waters where backfilling is not an option, to private, luxury residential complexes for VIPs on any country's territorial waters. From offshore harbours that accommodate sea freight vessels, to stations on the high seas which provide refuelling, catering and potentially life-saving services. The answer lies in the advanced engineering of the Doe 4 floating island currently under construction in Lebanon, with some 500 engineers and skilled technicians rotating on the job. To build this unique marine floating structure, we had to develop special techniques in fiberglass production to assume the good quality we are looking for and the high productivity. Also in steel fabrication, we had to go to cutting edge technologies and software to be able to cope with the complex structure and multiple material being used in the project, from steel plates to pipes to casting to forging to fiberglass and polymer technologies. To be able to complete that in the next year, we are operating in three sites in Lebanon, Abrushmoun, Tripoli and Junie, and more than a dozen subcontractors around the country. Many techniques are being used for the first time mainly in steel piping, structural piping, and in fiberglass hull production. The floating island is currently, and will still be in the foreseeable future, an industry without direct competition. The world's industrial giants are our suppliers rather than competitors. The feasibility studies on the Junier Bay project, set for spring 2015, indicated a 28% internal rate of return at the most reserved estimates. The project is actually uh, divided into different areas. The main deck is 3,300 meters square. And uh, you have on the front side of the main deck a restaurant, it's panoramic, and uh, you can have events, weddings, conferences. On the back side of the main deck, you have a nightclub. It can be opened and closed depending on the season. There's also a very nice uh, space for a bar that caters for the swimming pool. And as you go up, you have administrative spaces and the gym and spa, and also you have the rooms. The first, second and third floor are actually for the rooms, and they vary depending on the size. You have standard rooms and you have honeymoon suites, luxury suites. The rooftop of the hotel has a restaurant with a panoramic view, and it can house up to 600 people. And there's also a VIP section for those who are coming to visit the island by the helicopter. The floating island industry is being founded in Lebanon 
and a new chapter in marine engineering history is being written. So basically it's an island, but it's floating. <laughs>